Hi guys, thank you for seeing back to Puppy um, Sant Palace Pet Story. <laughs> Here's Emma and Sweet. So there's your little puppy you got. And now we're going to be opening up some Palace Pets. Emma, do you want some Dottie Sweet? This is Cinderella's mouse named Bree. She's very pretty. You can get a free a purchase, a free app, a free game from the App Store or Google Play. Put it on your tablet or iPad. So this is Cinderella's mouse named Bree. And this is, you can feed puppy, good girl. This is Aurora's puppy from okay, Sleeping Beauty. Her puppy named Macaron. Macaron? That's cute. And then these ones are super fancy, super glittery Bye skirt. Guys. This is Rapunzel Bye skunk guys. called Bye. Meadow. Bye guys. See you Emma, the puppy dog. Look at this super glittery skirt. And she Bye. comes with a one pet, one tiara, one glitter skirt, one brush, and one booklet. So she is super cute. Again, Rapunzel skunk named Meadow. And then we have Super glittery cape again. We have Jasmine's tiger named Sultan. Look at that. That's awesome. So, this is gonna be super cool opening these up. I think uh, my helper went to go walk her puppy dog. <laughs> so excited. We'll open up the little ones first. Cinderella's mouse named Bree. So, there is Bree there. And it says, oh, that's hard to read. Brie is definitely one of a kind mouse. Not only is she a loyal friend, but she also becomes everything about, sorry, knows everything about horses. Cinderella first met her in the royal stables, playing with her big friends. Brie has always lived there and she loves taking care of the horses and keeping them company. The princess thinks Brie is just amazing and is the reason the horses are so well and happy. Aw, so there's a story the book included, and there's all the other little palace pets you can get. Those are cute. Just don't want a other yeah, there's three. Bye, guys. Mice like cheese, and there's a cheese, a type of cheese called brie cheese. So I wonder if she's named after the cheese, huh? Maybe. Bye, guys. I'm going to You going to go walk the puppy? Okay. Bye. Can you go walk the puppy? I'll just, I'll just let's do all the work here. Okay, all right. Okay, bye. <laughs> so there is Cinderella. Aww. So you can see that this is a very nice book. And oh, it opens up there. So you can talk, um, look at all the different Disney princesses and their palace pets. And of course, today we have Cinderella and Brie. So let's see Brie here. Oh, wow. She's actually really fancy. We'll take this, get that out somehow. Get this out, oh, there we go. Keep that, I guess. And there she is, and she has a beautiful hairbrush too. And I can hear her walking her puppy over there. <laughs> a cute little brush. And we just gotta get one little snippy over there. There we go. Oh, two snips. Two snips, I was wrong, two snips. Oh, you guys back? Yeah. So this is Brie, Cinderella's mouse. Wow, this look at her. This time we are going to bring our puppy treats. Okay, don't forget a bag in case the puppy poos. Look and, at that, and of course. Put, I will put the puppy, nice brush. I will put the puppy treats in there. So Brie is super cute. I will put the puppy treats in the poop. Okay. And I'm gonna open up the next one. This is Sleeping Beauty, Beauty Aurora's puppy named Macaron. Macaron. Oh, I guess I should read, huh? Macaron. When Macaron first spotted the three good fairies flying toward Aurora's castle, she couldn't help but follow their sparkling trail. The princess fell in love with her at first sight, and since then they have enjoyed spending time with the fairies, watching them make their gentle spells. In fact, Macaron has, simple, has a secret wish to have her personal magic wand and help everyone with her magic like a little fairy. Aw, super cute puppy. Hey, she's got a puppy now too, just like you. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I think this is. There we go. There is Aurora Sleeping Beauty and her puppy named Enchanted Me. Ooh, sorry, Macaron. 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 And we got the same book there. So it's like kind of like the same fold-out book, just a different ah. front. There you go. That's cute. That's a nice collection you're gonna get. Say bye, guys. Okay, to lose. Finish those videos. Finish. Oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta finish the videos, I guess. So there's that. Uh oh, I got the puppy. <laughs> okay, so there is Macaron. Super cute. Little snip snip there. And snip snip there. And a little brush to go with it. So, let's get all this garbage out of here. Ah, garbage! And some little puppy dog keeps hitting the camera. <laughs> so this is Macaron. Very cute. Ooh. They all have beautiful tiaras. So, and again, the brush. Let's brush her up very nice. Put the camera. There we go. She's been in packaging for so long. Oh, yes. So cool. Yeah, the head spin too. That's super cute. Okay, let's her head turn a little bit. There we go. All right. Okay, bye. Okay, so now we're gonna have some other ones. These are the glittery ones. So this is Jasmine's tiger named Sultan. He looks cool. He's super cute. With a glittery cape and a hairbrush. Awesome. So you can collect them all again and the storybook included. So since Jasmine found Sultan napping on a pile of precious silks at the market, he's never left her side. This tiger may be small, but his bravery is a million times his size. A little secret? If he doesn't have his beloved plush toy with him, Sultan stops feeling brave. All right, so Sultan needs his plush toy with him, I guess, to feel good. So let's see if he's got oh, his toy. And of course, there is the book with them on the front cover. That's cute. Oh, another book. Out. Oh. Nice little sparkly brush. Brush his hair. Very nice. His tail. We'll put him right there. And a little snippy snip again. Snippy snip. And one more snippy snip. How's the puppy doing over there? Wow, this is one glittery tiger. Look at that. That is so glittery, I love it. So pretty. He looks awesome. He's got a nice collar necklace too. Wow, he looks super cool. And, oh, that's right. They come with a Cape that of course is knotted and I don't. Oh. Ooh, let's just cut this. The plastic. I don't have to undo the knot right now. There we go. So there is the cape that he can wear. That's cool too. So you can put the nice cape on him on the back there. That's awesome. So there is Sultan. And now we have one more to go. And it is Rapunzel Skunk named Meadow. She looks like she smells better than real skunk. Mm -hmm. And she's got a super, super glittery skirt. Oh, I'm so excited. And a nice hairbrush again. That's super cool. A pet tiara, a glitter skirt, a brush, and a booklet. All right, so, oh, let's read about Meadow real fast. Rapunzel had never seen a skunk before the day she rescued Meadow from Flynn, who was chasing her. The princess fell in love with this unusual pet. Meadow adores 
parading around the castle like a queen, but don't tell her that people step to the side just because she's a skunk. She thinks it's because she's royal. Aw, she is cute. I'm sure she doesn't stink. <laughs> Let's see. And of course, she's got her booklet with them on the front. Meadow and, Ra oh, and Rapunzel with her long hair. That's so cute. So we have all those books there. That's a lot of books. And of course, this glitter. Oh, I like this. That was easy to take out. Look at that cute little skirt. I like it with a cute little bow. Oh, I love that. That's super cute. And the brush popped out too. Oh, very nice. And this one. Two more snippy snips. Snip. The body's around the neck there, and then the tail is also in there. We gotta snip that off. Oh my goodness, sorry Meadow. Oh, here's Meadow. Look at that. I like her um, striped tail. That's really cool. Instead of black and white, she's a purple and white skunk. So pretty. Look at how that is so nice. She's got her little paw to her mouth like hee hee. She's so cute. Yeah, she's got a nice tiara. She can probably take that tiara on and off, I imagine. I don't want to do that right now though. She is so glittery. And let's see her little skirt. Oh, look at that, her little tail is like a little flower right there. That's so cute. And this somehow would go around her. I'll have to figure this one out. Mm-hmm, <laughs> goes around the tail, I think. Maybe something like that. Ooh, that's cute, hey? Aw, she looks so cute. The glitter is actually really good it doesn't really come off on my hands so that's actually really good because sometimes you get glittery toys and all the glitter gets on your hands and it can get in your in your um, eyes and in your mouth and your nose so this stuff's really good i barely have anything coming off on me just a couple things so that's really good she is super cute too oh sorry meadow there we go, and we'll put your hairbrush over here. Wow. So, as you can see, we have an awesome Pals Pets collection up there. Look at that, they are so cute. I love them all. Can we remember the name? Um, 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 let's see. This is Macaron. Wait. I'm gonna cheat and use the books. <laughs> Enchanted Macaron, and that is Aurora, Sleeping Beauty's pet puppy. And we just saw Meadow, the pet skunk, who belongs to uh, Rapunzel. And then Jasmine's tiger named Sultan. And then of course, Cinderella's mouse named Bree. Aw, they're so cute. I love them. There they all are. So cute. And there's a couple more I think you can get for the collection. There's a whole bunch here. I'll just show you real fast. There's Plum Drop, Nile, Macaron, Thistle Blossom, Brie, Truffles. Oh, you know what? I think there's probably even more in here. So if you get the book, you can see that there's so many different ones. Oh, Snow White. What's Snow White? Oh. That's the blossom. This is blossom. Wow. Well, that is amazing, guys. There's so many cute little palace pets out there. Have fun collecting your palace pets. Let us know what your favorite is. Thanks for watching Kids Toys. Please subscribe and hit.
We're watching kids' toys. We're watching kids' toys. We're watching kids.